Meet Hamilton Ndlovu, a name known for success and wealth in South African business. Starting from humble beginnings, Hamilton worked hard and became a multi-millionaire, impressing many with his new ideas and strong determination to succeed. His journey from being poor to rich felt like a modern fairy tale, giving hope to many young people who dreamed of starting their own businesses and achieving great things. But like many stories of success, Hamilton's journey took a sharp turn. Despite his early winnings, unexpected problems and bad choices led to his downfall. Now the same ambition that helped him rise and also played a part in his downfall as he faced money problems and personal struggles. Hamilton's story reminds us that chasing success can be full of ups and downs. His life teaches us that to survive in South Africa's tough business world, you need to be strong, humble and ready to change when needed. Join us as we take a closer look at Hamilton Lovers' life, from his rise to fame to his fall from grace and the important lessons we can learn from his journey. Now Hamilton's interest in business began when he was a student at Highveld Park High School in Secunda. He later went to University of South Africa to study towards electrical engineering. Now it was in 2012 when Hamilton started working as a technical sales officer in Pinoni. He did his job until July 2013. Now then in August 2013, he became an electrical design engineer in the same area, working there until December 2015. From January to April 2016, Hamilton worked as a quality manager at Actom Electrical Products. It was at this time that the entrepreneurial bug became very strong that he quit his 9 to 5 job to venture into entrepreneurship. It was at this very moment that he decided to register Hamilton Holdings, which is a group company. And in April of that year, in 2016, he became the CEO of Hamilton Holdings, which is a company that offers business and engineering solutions across the Southern Africa. Now, Hamilton's businesses are involved in many areas, making him well known in engineering, aviation and other industries. Now, Hamilton Holdings, which is his company, has many branches, including Hamilton and Projects Close Corporation, an engineering company in Melrose Arch in South Africa. He is also involved in industries like aviation, shipping, mining now, and railways. Now in May 2020, Hamilton gained attention for showing off his luxury cars. So many cars in one day, what's wrong with you man? What was the, what's, what's the first one? The 911. Okay, second one? GTS. Okay. GTS. Stop it now. Oh damn. The Cayenne S. It's too much. The SRT. Hella. And obviously you don't need, you don't need an introduction from that one. <laughs> <laughs> That one is self-explanatory. Why war? <laughs> <laughs> but soon after, it was discovered that his companies were part of a scandal where money which was meant for PPEs was used for personal gain. As if things could not get worse, Hamilton's troubles with the South African revenue services began in 2020 when they noticed his expensive lifestyle. It turned out he hadn't paid taxes on his expensive cars and properties. Now SARS took around 60 million rands in money and assets from him, including three Porsches 911 Carrera Cabriolets, a Porsche Cayenne S Coupe and a Porsche Panamera GTS Sport. Now, further investigations showed that eight companies linked to Hamilton got around 172 million rands in contracts to supply PPE during the pandemic, but only around 15 million rands was used to buy PPEs. Now, on August 15, 2021, Hamilton and his partner and a manager from the National Laboratory were arrested. They were granted a bail of around 20,000 rands. By August 31, 2021, the special tribunal gave permission to freeze around 42 million rands worth of properties and a trust account belonging to Hamilton. Now, this was part of the investigation into the corruption involving him and his companies. You have to note that Hamilton became famous for showing off the purchase of five luxurious cars on social media, which included three Porsches, a Lamborghini Urus, and a Jeep Grand Cherokee, which were worth around 11 million rands. The cars were gifts for himself his family and his child but his lavish lifestyle brought attention to his finances leading to major losses and debts to the government now the citizen which is a newspaper in south africa recently published an article showing that hamilton's cars were literally sold under four minutes fetching millions of rents Cars belonging to controversial tenderpreneur Hamilton Zorro will be auctioned today, 28 August, at Park Village Auctioneers in Joburg. Among the vehicles set for sale are three Porsches and a Lamborghini, all of which were seized in 2021 after the High Court ruling. 
Glover first drew attention four years ago when he posted a video showcasing his luxury cars which he had bought in one go. This sparked investigations into the PPE tenders he had acquired during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Special Investigating Unit, as well as SARS, who launched investigations, found that the National Health Laboratory Service awarded at least 172 million in tenders to companies linked to UNRWA, most of which were allegedly obtained by abusing emergency procurement procedures. As a result, Rovo was ordered to repay at least 158 million plus interest. The auction of his cars marks a significant development into the ongoing case. I am Zandile Kumalo. Also in 2023, his luxury Brandstein mansion was auctioned off for around 7.1 million rands, while bank accounts which belong to some of the companies linked to him remains frozen. The citizen also reported that the 35-year-old engineering solutions company CEO also owes the taxman millions of rents. Now Hamilton and Love is one of men who benefited from the 500 billion rents that was meant to be for relief fines which was allocated during the tough time that the country was facing. Now in 2020, Hamilton was worth around 300 to 400 million rents, but after the corruption allegations and the seizure of his assets, his current financial situation remains very dire and very poor. In the end, Hamilton's story shows us that success can be unpredictable. It teaches us that staying humble and responsible is important, even when we achieve great things. As we think about his journey, let us remember the lessons and aim to build businesses based on honesty, transparency and strong values. This is all we had for you from Easy Finance. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video.